anyway. PH paper to Brickworks first day back. Monday the 9th. Hope you've all had a good Christmas and a good happy new year to you all. Yeah, first day back, first morning. Um, on a little extension, well, two extensions on one house, but labour only. And uh, just before Christmas, I dropped my mixer here um, and let the bloke hire the mixer off me for pouring the concrete on the footings. And when I left you, I just said, as you're doing the footings, just make sure they're level. <laughs> First day back. And I've had to get the cutter out already. To be fair, through the front's not too bad. There was a little hump in the footing um, just over there and I had to cut sort of 15 mil off the bottom of a block. But this side, fuck me. It's like a ski slope. Um, is 80 mil difference. It's 80 mil from that end. That end's 80 mil higher than this end. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. 225 as we go along the footing or up the ski slope. Oh, 140. Perfect. All right, that's looking a lot better. When I got here this morning, they'd had a bulk bag of sand dropped right here. And it uh, basically come out to about here. And I needed the bump blocks. So it would have left me nowhere to stand. So yeah, all good. All good, all bumped out. All the blocks ready for the internals. Beautiful sand has been moved to here. Mixer here. Fuck it, hired me, borrowed my mixer. That's how it comes back. At least the inside was clean, that's the main thing, but yeah, looks like it's been rendered. But anyway, moved the sand, laid this round this morning, and now uh, I can ski slope that foot in. But see, the front was alright. I had to cut that one and that one. So there's a bit of, there's a bit of a hump in the foot in here but um from that point to that point 85 mil different bingo well good morning you miss me Probably not. Um, yeah, Coach Bavin and Brickwork. We did try to start back um, on the 9th of January. Um, for you that don't know, Bosh. I, uh, I was here on my own, just uh, bumping out, getting everything sorted, moving a bag of sand, loading out all the blocks. Um, there's another little extension around the other side of the building. So I was bringing that um, up to floor level. Um, before Christmas, I brought this up to floor level um, and yeah, conveniently snapped my wrist. Um, so yeah, a bit slow. I've got another two weeks getting the cast till I get the cast off. Um, but Leon um, at Trainee Bricky on Instagram is helping me out today. So uh, uh, just got to put some ties in here. That on that little reveal my bad i uh i never said to him about that but other than that at the minute we're all good we're tidy we're all clean and uh he's doing well he's doing well we're up what we've just nearly finished the fifth course um because the uh the very bottom course i put on about an hour before i snapped my arm so yeah great one uh, he's just knocking up another gauge so yeah Mixes round the back, sand's round the back because we're here labour only. But the, um, the sand got put on this slab along with a pallet of blocks, and it just meant there was no room. So that's why my first day here on my own, I was organising, ready for the next day, which never ended up happening. Um, 
spent it in a lot of pain, but we're here now. So we've got an extension, if I step, fuck it, a bit of a mess here, I'm afraid. But, uh, so we've got an extension going on this side, and there's an extension going on the other side. <coughs> Both about the same sort of size. Like I said, real labour only, but um, we're back doing it. So, all sweet. Yeah, not bad, really. Right up to height. Little window reveal done, door reveal. Like I said, that trainee Ricky on Instagram. And uh, we'll follow. He's doing well. Fair play to him. Um, it's all sweet. The tyres are all in, absolutely bang on. So, yeah. Uh, starting to take shape, which is ideal. So yeah, we've got a little little nib to do in here, which we just have to set the profile up in there, and then it's just like a I think it's a 150 bit stack bond all the way up. Yeah, we're we're there. It's got him all the uh, all the joints are full up, which is nice, all nice and neatly jointed. So yeah, all sweet. Like I said, it's uh, at Trainee Bricky on Instagram. Well, good morning on this beautiful, it's like a spring morning. Not a fan of winter, hence why I do things like this through the winter. It gets me out of it then, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, it's like a spring morning, beautiful. Anyway, we're here. Obviously, Leon last, couple of days last week, got the block work up. We got Lee here today. Um, Good friend of mine, and uh, he's around there knocking another gauge up. But yeah, we're going to get the brickwork round. Well, Lee's going to get the brickwork round, should I say? So we're going profile set up. We'll do another little clip on the profiles in a minute. So uh, Rhino Build, if you're watching this, yeah, the next next little clips for you. Um, but yeah, we've got the profile set up, all nice and sturdy. Um, yeah, we're going to run the brickwork in. We've got a four-inch damp to go down, um, insulation to go in. Um, but we're all loaded. Well, sort of loaded, semi-loaded, just to get us going. Because obviously we don't want to fully load out on this path because we are out on the pedestrian footpath. So obviously whatever we don't use, if we was to fully load it, we'd then have to bump back in. So just going to bump as we go. But we've got 100 or so out here at the minute. That will get them going. Um, profile, this end, set up. Other end set up. So we've got the concrete fence posts in the way. But um, yeah, for everyone who was giving it the, yeah, I should have done the brick mat first. Panels are out, mate, not a problem. So yeah, all good. So yeah, going to uh, just get Lee cracking on this now. He's going to get lines set up and... Uh, yeah, just just get going. I hope you all have a good day. Keep me a warm look with the old brick jackets. Beautiful hat. Um, I want to get a bigger fucking logo on the front, mate, I reckon. What do you reckon? Anyway, catch yeah. you in a bit. So, I said I was going to come back to this. So, Rhino build. Profile. Mark profile. I've had the, yeah, about a year now, I reckon. Absolutely pucker. Incorporated with a dory box. External clamp, which, because of the length of the profile, the height of the block work, I've had to put a block there to clamp it on, but that is still sturdy. Now, these, what a piece of art. These top clamps. So, that's clamped on my block work. Comes across. All little thumb, thumb screw turns to clamp it all together. Now, great invention. So, Rhino build again on the top clamps, Rhino build profiles, Rhino build dory blocks, external clamps, same the other end, and also this, the brick grab. Now, obviously, for you that know, I am in a cast, so with that, we're able to bump out. So yeah, absolute puff of bit of kit. Head on over to Rhino Build and you'll be able to get the top clamps, 
profiles, dory blocks, external clamps, even the brick grabs, you know it makes sense. Right, so the first video this morning I'm doing, Rhino build, brick grab. So basically, I'm gonna run you through it. This basically runs on a nut and bolt that goes through these holes. Now, depending on the size of the bricks, if you're using imperial bricks, you'd probably want to come to this hole. I'm on metric bricks, so I'm in the second hole. Now, lovely, nice detail, but yeah, it's perfect. So basically, this works under its own weight. So the bricks, obviously gonna go in here, I will demonstrate in a minute. And then as you pull the handle up, it clamps the bricks and then you can lift it. Now you probably think, where do you put it down? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you now. Put your brick grab on, like so. And as you pull the handle up, it grips the bricks. So we are now six bricks. And then when you put it down, this little plate that's welded on here, as you release the handle, grab the plate and simply lift it off. Absolute pack a bit of kit. So that's that is the brick wrap. Next, waterboard stands. Sturdy as you like. I've had these quite a while now. And there's another one just through there. I've actually got I've only got the four of them, but tell you what incorporated with decent spot boards and uh, sturdy as you like stand there all day long doesn't have to be perfectly flat ground where with blocks you're there forever trying to trying to create a bit of flat ground and stand your box down also in the rhino build range the external clamps fits on basically it's sort of like a 450 um, external clamp, clamps of profile, which again, Rhino build, Dory blocks, perfect for the line, just makes life a lot easier. Undo your thumb turn, move it up to your gauge marks that are already on there, they come gauged like that. Um, again, the nice little Rhino build detail on there. And then the top clamps, they're also Rhino build. They clamp on the top of the block work. Like an L shaped bar, all really well fabricated, thumb turns, and it all just clamps on. And that holds that profile nice and sturdy. So you go in up, and once you've set that once, yes, of course, as brick layers, you check your, check your upright, but that's absolutely pucker. So we've got top clamps, dory blocks profiles, external clamps, that's all doing the business. Spot board stands, and my favourite at the minute all the time I'm in this cast is that brick grab. So uh, that's where you need to be heading. Rhinobuild.com for all your decent brick laying and profile, mortarboard stands, brick grabs, all the accessories. Nice, easy website to use. Um, so yeah, head on over, check them out. Right, so this is us today. Just finished returning this corner. Um, because last week we had it all the time, but where it's we're not been in and out, we'll basically just wrap this bit down to uh, there. And uh, yeah, infield, we turned around the corner to the window reveal. Um, plates on, on the internal. Um, I took this up, that's lintel height. Took this pier up from somewhere about here this morning. Uh, that's lintel height. 
Leon ran a course of brick through here. Just Todd Sark bedded the plate on. It's absolutely bang on level. And uh, this is the bit. Just returned this little pier here whilst it was outside there. And we've got a three quarter stack pump pier, um, boiler, flue, and all that needs moving. So we can't go any higher. Um, but that there is basically a little height on here. And the bloke will do the job for you. It's just put a bit of timber up there, temporary, just so I can see the angle for basically filling in the little gable cut ups. Um, it's going to be the same. This end, no timber on here yet. It's got to move all the flue, move all the saw vent pipe. But yeah, that's, that's where we're at. So, yeah, so far so good. That's that one. Um, all tidy, mixes here, we've got all the materials. This is the second one, but there's massive alterations to that. It's getting made bigger. It's, it's basically coming out to this post now. And they've done the footings, I did the brickwork round. Um, complete waste of time, they've poured the concrete. And now it's coming, basically, cavy wall through here to about where my foot is. Across there turning back in so it's all extra foot in they're gonna have to connect the two foot ins with rebar resin all that sort of stuff but <laughs> thankfully i'm just on the brick and block work labor only so yeah oh sweet all's good in the hood have a lovely weekend gang and uh from me and leon let's peace out have a good weekend morning gang we are Monday morning, again. Seems to just fly by, doesn't it, the weeks now. Um, but yeah, so we are on the extension job. <laughs> My clients just stuck these. Obviously, he's using six by two as rafters. Don't worry, don't panic. These are not the finished fucking product. He's using six by two rafters on this little lane too. But what he's done for me is just fix the top um level with the timber wall plate and he's done a little bird beak um uh, in here so basically we're running just to the top edge this is just our guide it's giving us our top edge now for running up these these little gable ends these gable cuts got one at end one this end um and now he's done that and i can see where the soffit's going to sit we've got one more course through the front and that is the first extension of the two on this job. That's a wrap. So, just prepared to run one more course through here, up the top there. Um, done, you know, right, done these little gable ends, that end and the other end, block work, internal, and the brickwork. A uh, little bit of arse about face. As you can see, that ain't a very good cut up, up there. That's what happens when you're given just a bit of decking board like that as your fucking guide. Now what I asked for was at least two or three rafters on uh, this end and that end. And then you can ping battens across over sailing this edge and then you can run string line from A to B and you get your nice, follow your string line as your cut edge. No, not here. I'm just glad I'm paid neck down on this one. Um, yeah, you see what I mean there, look at that. Shocking really. Um, but apparently there's a barge board or something something is going on there he says I just cover it so he's just like yeah just get it up there um, so yeah it's literally a freehand um, obviously uprighting but just freehanding cuts in there and then he's like yeah reverse it and use the other cut it's your next course sort of. it's all getting covered up he says not the way I like to work really, but it's up there. It's what he wanted, it's what he's got. I'd have still much rather three rafters on, or just put all the rafters on, and uh, I could have just 
ping some bat over sail in the end. Like I said, it's a string line running up, and that would have given me nice, nice, perfect cuts. But no, hey ho. Oh well. So yeah, that's this extension all done. Um, block cable that end. Same this end. Uh, so yeah, that's this one. Um, thanks for watching. Just trying to get back in the swing of things now. Got me my, uh, my hands all back. So yeah, it's taken a, a bit of a long time this job. Um, we're what tail end of tail end of February now. 9th of January I broke my wrist, so I did get back in the swing of it. Clark's just on his way now, so uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Catch us on the next one. Like and subscribe. Guys.